And the first wave of Afghan refugees is on its way to the Bay Area. 300 slated to arrive in the South Bay over the next 12 months. As KPI X5 Skip Doe reports, local government, nonprofits, individuals are all pitching in to make that transition go smoothly. We are seeing people all across the Bay Area step up in traditional and creative ways to help out these Afghan refugees, starting right here in Santa Clara County, which just devoted nearly a million dollars in new funding. Vice President Ellenberg. Yes. And the vote was unanimous. Thank you. Santa Clara County Supervisors increased the funding for the International Rescue Committee with an office in San Jose and Jewish Family Services of Silicon Valley from $185,000 to $250,000 each per year. What's more, the county is earmarking up to $750,000 to fund English classes and other social services. Supervisor Susan Ellenberg says it's a moral obligation. Well, this is the core of what we do for each other as as human beings we are literally saving lives and helping people begin anew here and i wanted to do what i could to help make that easy for the folks that are doing the hard work of resettlement in san carlos at my breakfast house owner kiki chang is hiring a busser and a greeter everyone is welcome to apply especially afghans if they need a job if i have a job opening yeah, welcome to apply the job here, work here. As an immigrant from Taiwan herself, Kiki says it's the right and decent thing to do. You always try to help out. Somebody fail them, you try to give them a hand, helping get up. Yeah, it's the same idea. Why help? I think not just immigrant, it's human nature. Yeah, human. We ha all have to help. The Afghan refugee crisis really hits home for, for me. Alvin Salehi is the co-founder and co-CEO of Chef, an online marketplace for home cooks to sell and deliver authentic ethnic dishes. Local chef Layla cooked 100 free meals for Afghan refugees who had recently arrived in the Bay Area. And what's more, Chef is waiving all fees for any refugees who join and will be giving a $3,500 stipend to spend on cooking tools, supplies, and marketing. Many of them have come to the U.S. under incredibly difficult and devastating circumstances, my hope is that we treat them with kindness. My hope is that we actually try hard to show them the America that they've always dreamt about. Kit Doe, KPIX5.